Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing a video that's a little bit different than what I normally do and I actually kind of thought about how to present this and if I even was going to do a video. But basically what we're going to do is kind of walk you through the Brown Isle Social Summit of 2018. But what we're really going to focus on is the place that we were at. The place we were at is called Ox Ranch. It's 18,000 acres. So that's huge. That's bigger than a lot of counties in America. Um, it's located about an hour and 45 minutes west of San Antonio in Texas. And they just have uh, a ton of things to do there. And uh, I think one of the things that they do wrong in marketing, my personal opinion, is that they market it sort of as like a hunting place, which it absolutely is, and we'll get into all that here in just a second. Um, but really, it's kind of like a nature preserve. You can see things there, and uh, you play with animals and interact with animals that you wouldn't be able to do anywhere else in America. You'd have to fly to Africa to do so, and of course, all the uh, issues that come with that. They're all right there in Texas at Ox Ranch. So there's uh, kind of a lot going on there. Um, and I think they're missing out on a huge market segment. Like for instance, uh, my wife uh, doesn't like hunting. She's not into hunting. She's not against it, but it's just not something she's into. Uh, but she would love that place. The facilities there are top notch. Everything's super nice. The staff's awesome. Uh, and the views are just gorgeous and they'll really do anything that you ask the folks that work there like if you want to go on like a Tuesday morning and go look at artifacts or something like that you can do so they'll go take you around look for some Native American artifacts some dinosaur fossils anything like that they will do within reason I'm sure pretty much whatever you want so they're just awesome in terms of uh, customer service and uh, the facilities again it's top notch so Anyway, back to the Brown Isle Social Summit. So what it is, is it's a gathering of folks who do uh, social media and who work with Brown Isles. I, of course, work with Brown Isles. They're not a sponsor of the channel or anything like that, but I do work with them. And uh, they've been great to the channel over the years. I truly appreciate that. They invited me down along with, I think, like 10 or 11 other folks, basically just to have a good time. So uh, we did a couple things. We went on like what they call a safari every day down there around Ox Ranch, looking at different animals in different settings. Um, and really you don't have to go anywhere a lot of the times because the animals will simply come to you, which is just crazy. So like kangaroos will just walk right up to you. Uh, the same with camels, a lot of the um, like larger wild game that are probably uh, in the in the moose and deer family. Uh, they'll just walk right up to you, which is just crazy. They're everywhere. And there's some others, of course, that are much more skittish. Um, but uh, so basically every day we did that in the morning. We did uh, some cave exploration. Um, we did some you know, nature walks, things like that. And then we also did some uh, firing of big weapons. So uh, we fired the 105 howitzer, and that's actually part of a, a different company that's located on the premises. It's all part of the same company, but that's called drivetanks.com. Of course, they have a ton of different tanks. They have a ton of machine guns. They have a wall of machine guns with pretty much all of the cool machine guns that you could ever want to fire, uh, which you can do there. And then they also have, I think they had seven tanks, they said, that were functioning. They have a bunch of like uh, light infantry vehicles, uh, BMPs, stuff like that, uh, that are functional. And you can drive the tank around. We drove the Leopard tank, um, all of us did. And uh, it was awesome. Drive that tank up a river around like a little tank course. Uh, super fun for sure. And it's one thing that you just can't do a lot of places. Uh, they have grenades that you can throw out there. They have um, really just tons of cool stuff. All of their uh, historical memorabilia is authentic. So like they have like a German area, they have like a Soviet area and things like that. They're all authentic. Um, they have bars pretty much everywhere you go. And one thing they said to us was, as long as you're not too drunk, you can drive the tank. Um, I like that policy, it's a good policy. Uh, so if you guys uh, enjoy adult beverages and tanks, well then, there you go. Uh, same goes for machine guns, of course. Now, obviously, they're probably a little bit more uh, careful about the firearms than they are about the tank. It's pretty hard to mess up anything on a tank. You can kind of go through anything and it'll be okay. Plus, they have a guy standing or sitting right next to you in case anything should happen. Anyway, uh, so I drove the tanks around, uh, fired the howitzers. Uh, some guys went did a bunch of fishing. Some guys went out and did some hunting. I know Eric and Chad did some night hunting out there uh, for hogs. Uh, as far as I know, for hogs, you can kind of just go wherever you want. They don't really care. But if you're going there to hunt specific game, uh, they want you to work with the staff. Because one of the things they do, um, like most folks who are really into hunting, is they're also into conservation and preserving the herd and 
and, you know, making sure it's healthy and all of those things. And they manage a ton of different wildlife that just, again, it isn't anywhere else in America that I know of. So um, they're very uh, cognizant of what gets harvested and what doesn't get harvested and when and all of those sorts of things. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to roll in some footage here, as I probably already have done throughout this video. Uh, just let you guys see some of the cool stuff that's out there. We'll drop links down below to Ox Ranch and Drive Tanks if I can. I'm not sure if YouTube will allow that. Um, and if you're watching anywhere else, I'll drop it there as well. The best video I've seen so far on this, just for those of you guys who don't follow him, is Jonathan over at Tactical Toolbox. Um, he's got an awesome video of what the experience is like. His videography is top notch. Check it out if you guys are interested. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about the ranch, drive tanks, brown animals, whatever, definitely just let me know. And I uh, will do my best to answer you guys down below in the comment section or over at my Facebook page, which is definitely the best place to get in touch with me and find deals on cool stuff. On that note, if you haven't signed up for my email yet, please go ahead and do so. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Enjoy the footage, and we'll see you in the next video.